In other words, it was designed to be a big taxi cab, drive guys to the battlefield and go back home. Mm-hmm. But how did it end up with a turret on top? Mm-hmm. Well, this is all well and good, Colonel Smith, but... Something wrong, General? Well, with this gorilla in production, I don't suppose there's going to be anything left in the budget for my scout. Doubt it, Bob. You don't need scouts. You have radar, air recon, satellites. You always need a scout. And you know what I'm thinking? Why couldn't this thing serve as a scout? But it's a, it's a troop carrier, General. But this is a speedy vehicle. Why can't it be both? Well, for one thing, it's too big. And for the other, you can't really see out all that much from inside. Sounds like a design flaw to me. Design flaw? Uh, no. No, we, we, we'll just stick a turret on top with lots of opticals. But then, sir, it, it'll be even bigger. Well, what's your problem, Smith? Not elegant enough for you? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, the thing is, General, it's kind of hard to do a sneak and peek when you're over 10 feet tall. He's got a point, Bob. Well, all I know is we need a scout. This is fast enough to do the job, and it's funded. Well, um, actually, we're a hair over budget. When you needed that anti-aircraft gun, who backed you up on that? You did, Bob. And who testified to appropriations on behalf of that gun? You did, Bob. I'm talking to appropriations next week. Now, do I sell you on my scout or do I not? You did, Bob. And how about some portholes along the side for individual firearms so the fellows can stick out their guns and shoot people? Good. And you know what, Colonel? We already have the turret. We ought to get the biggest bang we can up there. I'm sorry, bang, sir? You can't hurt anybody with that pansy-ass gun. Add on some firepower. 